In this Affinity Designer tutorial, I will show you how you can separate curves into smaller lines and how you can join those smaller lines back together. So this is a curve, not a shape. So we got a stroke color around. We can move those node points to modify the curve as well. And in addition, you can change how it's bent. All right, so that's a line. If you want to separate a line like that, click on the spot that you want to separate it to add a new node like this. Then head to the top panel and you will notice this break curve option. Click on that. All right, let's go back to regular move tool and I can now click on it and move it out. So we break this curve in that new point we have created. Let's try again. I click node tool, I create a new node by clicking on existing line, done, and select break curve. Now I can simply move the whole thing with the move tool. All right, let's learn opposite action. So if you've got two lines just like that, how can we join them together? We can select both of them with the node tool active. So I'm holding shift to select both. Now you will see this additional option at the top. Instead of break curve, we got join curves. If you click on that, it will join. And in this case, we got the super strong angle. We need to fix that by pulling this node back. So actually it's good that it's happened because I, I have a chance to show you that it's fixable. All right. And I would recommend to turn this node into like the curvy one. So we got smooth transition. And this is just one line now. All right, let's try one more time with joining nodes. And this time, I have something like this. If I select all together and click node two, and then join, it's again join the one at the top, right? a similar glitchy connection. So what if we just manually select those two nodes at the bottom and then click join. Now we got connection be between those two nodes. And again, it's a bit glitchy. So we need to pull this back to make necessary adjustments. So as you can see, you can control where those two lines will join in, in case you got something like here. I want to show you one more method of cutting the line because in the previous method, when I add the node here and then I split it using the break curve, as you can see in the layer panel, there are now two separate curves. What if you want to just cut part of the line, but you want to keep it as the one line still? We can do that. So to do that, we're going to use scissors. All right, I undo, I got one line again, head to the knife tool. And now I can make those cuts here with the scissors. Use the node tool, take a look. I split this line, but it's still as one curve here in the layer panel. So it's a bit different and it's all selecting together. Take a look, it's still one object for the program. So it's similar, but a bit different. And of course, you can still remove those unnecessary parts if you need, just select all, delete on your keyboard and done, but it's still one object. All right, so here, all right. So here's how you split curves into separate lines and how you can join two lines into one. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.